Hello guys, welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. Today we will talk about saved instance state and how to use it to save an activity state, which is pretty easy to implement in our applications. So when to use saved instance state? Well as you know there are a number of events that can trigger a configuration change. And a most prominent example is a change between portrait and landscape orientations. When a configuration change occurs, the activity is destroyed and recreated. In such case, the original activity instance will have on pause, on stop and on destroy callbacks triggered. And when a new activity instance will be recreated, it will have on create, on start and on resume callbacks triggered. As we can see in this app, we can only increment the counter value. But if we rotate our device, counter value change to zero, which shouldn't be happen again, right? In such configuration change, we can use saved instance state to handle that state. Hi, my name is Suvajit and I make videos on Android app development. So if you are new in this channel then please consider subscribe and hit the like button that encourage me to make more videos. So let's jump into the Android studio and handle that configuration change. Alright here we have all the codes and here inside on create method we have the counters initial value 0 from which it will start increment on a button click. So that here we have counter plus plus to increment its value by 1. Then we have displayed the counter value in txt total using set text. Alright now let's talk about the implementation part of saved instance state. Now inside this class we have to override two methods on saved instance state and on restore instance state. On saved instance state will be responsible for saving data and on restore instance state will be restoring those data. So first we will override on saved instance state method which comes with one argument and this method will be called before on stop in older versions of Android I mean below API level 29 and on API 29 or above on saved instance state can be called after on stop. Now take this bundle auto state object to store our UI data. So auto state dot put int. We could choose different put method but for now we just need to store in type data when configuration change happens. Now in the first argument we have to pass any string which will be used as a key to access the value we store in the second argument. Now we will override on restore instance state. And in this method parameter we have a bundle object called saved instance state. Therefore we can use this object to retrieve our relevant app data. So saved instance state dot get int. Then key counter and pass 0 as the default value. Now let's assign this value in the counter. Next we have to display our counter value to the text view. So txt total dot set text. Double quotes then plus counter. So like we retrieving data inside on restore instance state. We can do so inside on create method using this saved instance state object. But here we have to check if it is not null, just to avoid any null pointer exception. And for the reference you can check out the video description. Now let's test our application on the emulator. As you can see app is running without having any issue. So let's increment some value. Now rotate the device. We can see the counter value is still retained there and we have handled that configuration change by writing few line of codes. Right? Now if we press the back button and that time on pause, on stop and on destroy will be called again. But on saved instance state will not. 
because there has no such configuration change happened. Instead, we intentionally did that. So guys, that's all for today. If you still have any questions or suggestions, please drop your message in the comment box. And if you think you have learned something new today, hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe for more events.